Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to try and get this done uh, with in a good amount of time. So, um, Dairy Queen decided to release a whole bunch of new things, their new summer lineup. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and try and nail everything down, you know, get try everything within the next week. Uh, while I can, while I can get the views um, from the, from it, and uh, so yeah, some things I will be reviewing, others I might not be. I I might still do it. I I have no clue, but Dairy Queen, they were like, make a COVID statement, do this, delay delay the ice cream day, but don't delay the summer menu, guys. Don't delay that. We're going to make lots of money, even though people told him to stay home. Anyways, I I love it. I love that they came out with this menu. It keeps positivity. It, it's like we're still living like, like normal. And I know a lot of people might be like, we should stay home. But if you go to the drive, like my Dairy Queen, I got like two that are like a couple miles away. And go there, come right back to the house. Um... So, like, I don't mind it at all, but I do kind of think it is controversial to do all this. Just my opinion. So, uh, what do I have? The title says it. I have the Animal Cookie Blizzard. And so, a title also sh should say that I'm going to talk about the summer lineup and the new things that they've got. Um, for food, they've got the chicken and, chicken and biscuit basket, which I think... The biscuits are like mini biscuits. Their breakfast locations already, if it's a, if it's the biscuits, I'm thinking the breast, breakfast locations already have these biscuits, and they sell them as uh, biscuit dunkers. So I haven't tried them yet. I am probably going to. Not with chicken though. I will probably do them for breakfast. Um, as for treats, oh man, got a whole huge lineup of blizzards. You got that animal cookie one sitting right there. The blizzard of the month is brownie dough. And it's just brownie. The little the chocolate pieces I don't like. Little thin things. And then um, fudge mixed in there. I don't know if that'll last after this month. Because um, this is a pretty big lineup. So I was just thinking. Um, yeah, I don't think so. They also have... Royal Rocky Road Blizzard. So it's a Royal Blizzard. I've never had a Royal Blizzard. So I'm probably going to try this one. Um, I used to always like cringe at the Royal ones. But yeah, Royal Rocky Road. Cotton Candy's returning. S'mores is returning. Oreo Cheesecake. This, I'm a little, I'm a little, you know, because I loved, and I mean, I absolutely loved the cheesecake. I just said cheese bake, cheesecake, um, berry, uh, blizzard. I loved it. It was my favorite. And the fact that they're not doing it is, uh, it's, it's disappointing to me. Um, so that's one of the things that is gone. I forgot to look up the past menus, but you can pretty much pick up on what's not going to be there, um, as I read on. Um, I mentioned the frosted animal cookie. Uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman Blizzard. We don't know if Wonder what they're going to do with Wonder Woman. At least I don't think we do. But as a Dairy Queen standpoint, they're still doing the promotion for that. And so that'll probably be a Blizzard of the Month at some point. But it's advertised on their summer menu right now. And it's just cookie dough, chocolate cookie dough, and then fudge mix in there. So it's just chocolate ice cream with two types of cookie dough. Nothing special, but that's their cookie dough one that they're doing. And then when I was in the drive thru I saw something about raspberry that really caught my eye. But it's not on their online thing. So when I go back, I'm going to try and see if I can go inside. i got to read their COVID statement. Um, I said that in the last video. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can go inside. If I can, then I'm going to stand there for about five minutes and process this whole thing. Because it is... A, it's it's very very huge um sprinkle sunday um 
So it's just ice cream with sprinkles on it, uh, mixed in it. Um, brownie Oreo Cup Faction, that was dubbed as new. Um, they also have Strawberry Cup Faction. I don't know if that's... I, it, apparently they've had it in the past, but I don't know if they've had it, you know. I don't know if this is a returning item or what. Then I saw Sprinkle Something, and this is no reason why I won't go inside. So I'll sprinkle something coming soon. I don't know if that was the sprinkle Sunday that it was talking about or what. But it was a lot to process. And that's why I hate drive throughs It's because you should not use a drive through unless you know what you're getting. And I came in there knowing what I was getting because I looked online. And had it preset that I was getting the breakfast. And I was getting the breakfast bowl and I was getting this. So I already knew, but like, I was looking at the menu, I was like, wow. Well, actually, no, I didn't know. I was, see, that was the problem. I sat there for about a minute and said, oh, I am going to get the animal cookie, which I had in my mind that I was. So this is a mini blizzard. Some of them I'm going to get a small of because I want more ice cream to it. But yeah, um, so that's most of it. And then on to the shakes, tiramisu, tiramisu shake. I had never seen that before. It doesn't say it's new, but I don't know. Strawberry cake shake and chocolate cake shake. I think they've had uh, both. I don't know if they've had both of those before, but I know they've had the chocolate cake shake before. Um, I don't think they've had them around, though. Like, I think they were limited time, and then they got rid of them. So they're back. And then we've got a lemonade mi twisty misty slush. Now, I'd never heard of uh, Misty's freeze or twisty misties any of those things and so i thought all of it was new for a second but i guess it's not it's just it's just a lemonade twisty misty slush so i'm probably gonna try that out since it's new you know just something to do um this helps me out a lot um y'all don't know how much one review a day is gonna do for me uh when I typically like to do, oh, my spoon. When I typically like to do three or four views in a day, y'all don't know how much this does favors for me. It it really does a lot, um, a, a lot for me. So it kind of helps me out, even though I know a lot of people might be grumpy about it, but it does help me out. So. I'll be able to extend the number of days I do reviews, and if fast food restaurants just keep doing this, I'll be fine. I'll be I'll be sitting pretty, um, getting my reviews done. So I don't have much more time to be talking or doing this, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what their new stuff is. Um, I don't know if any of that that sounds interesting to you or not, but. To me, I'm going to be trying out all the blizzards. That's up to eight that there are. And uh, I'll be checking out Dairy Queen a lot more. Hopefully, they're not closed completely on the inside. So I can just stand there and be like, okay, this is what I want, I think. So anyways, I rambled on. I did put in the title that this was going to be um, the new menu preview and me trying the animal cookie. And this is disgusting. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's pink. It's got... I, oh. Good thing I didn't tip that thing upside down. I remember watching that video. Y'all remember watching, I'm sure, when the guy tipped it upside down and it just fell. That That's part of the reason why I think they did, may have started doing lids. And some of them just put them on there. Some of them offer them. But like... They started putting lids on the um, things. So I guess if you wanted to flip it over, there's no risk. So I think they're, they're the, the frosted ones. Which is, which would make sense. With animal cookies. It's very sweet, very sugary. I think it's good. It's not like Cold Stones where I think the ice cream was flavored. 
like animal cookie. It just lets the animal cookie drive the flavor itself. As simple as this is, I'm tempted to give it a 10. So cold. Um, oh, and I, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently to all these snack connoisseurs um, and influencers, there has been a churro dipped ice cream spotted. So that's interesting. We have not had a churro blizzard yet. Um... So I just wandered off there. Yeah, we have not had one of those yet. Mexico had one. But America has never had one. Um, but it's no surprise that they don't have one. Because last year they did. They introduced the orange creamsicle dip ice cream. And, um... They didn't do a blizzard for that. Which is probably a really hard thing to really do because it would be simple. But eventually I guess they don't they'll get it down what to do. Um with orange. Cause I would love to have an orange creamsicle blizzard. What, it could, what they could do is take, just like what, what they do with the chocolate pieces, they could take orange pieces and mix that in, like the, the orange ice cream piece, the coating pieces. A churro is much easier to do, though. So... Of course, later in the summer, we're supposed to be getting a, um, I forget what the, a party, a fiesta blizzard. So that'll be cool. Um, but yeah. So that, yeah, I'm gonna give this a 10. I'm sorry, I finished it before I could. But yeah, this is a 10. And I really enjoyed it. As simple as it was, it, it drove home the flavor. And, uh, I recommend it. So, First review for the the new menu is a success. Um, I'll have another one tomorrow. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Because I like to go to this ice cream place down the road. So I'm going to look at their menu. And if I don't want those ice creams, then I'll just stay here and get a blizzard. But if they do have something good there that I might not get a blizzard tomorrow, which is fine. Um, even though by then the snack connoisseurs will probably have called up, which also is fine because I got a leg up right here right now. So, yep, this is the first review of the 2020 summer uh, menu for Dairy Queen by yours truly. So, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see y'all around. Um, I do, well, I do have a couple more things for you, and, uh, I forgot to note, you should go ahead and give this video a like, comment, and share, and, uh, subscribe if you have not already, check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food, and, uh, <clears throat>